The sesame and wider oilseed sector is an important part of economies in eastern Africa, and Sudan and Ethiopia are among the world's leading sesame producers. Sesame accounts for around $286 million of Ethiopia's export earnings and around $488 million US dollars of Sudan's export earnings. The majority of sesame has historically been produced in the Ethiopia-Sudan borderlands, an important source of cross-border resilience. But how do production and supply chains of a seemingly innocuous seed like sesame intersect with regional conflict dynamics? Chatham House is currently conducting research as part of the Cross-Border Conflict, Evidence, Policy and Trends Except program, examining conflict supply chains in parts of Africa and the Middle East. In the regions of Walkite, or Western Tigray and Al Fashika, sesame production has been heavily affected by the war in northern Ethiopia since November 2020, and the conquest a month later of disputed Al Fashika farmlands on the Ethiopia-Sudan border by the Sudanese army. In Ethiopia, an estimated 500,000 hectares of sesame fields have been taken out of cultivation since the war during the cropping season. Widespread displacement has had further impacts on productivity and livelihood security. But the ethnic-based lines of the conflict have also been reflected in a shift in land control and trading capacities. In both Western Tigray, or Walkite, and Al Fashiga, agricultural value chains are being reshaped with power and profit shifting to new actors and cash from the crop potentially being used to sustain conflict and land control. The underpinning infrastructure for agricultural lands have also been used to store contraband goods and shelter migrants looking to transit through to Sudan and beyond, against increasingly securitized borders. Our early research, therefore, points to several interlinked impacts from changes in the production of cash crops, like sesame, for conflict and coping dynamics in Ethiopia, Sudan, and the wider region.